Marquee box. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's open the box and you can see the tool. After removing two screws from the case, you can see the location to install the original remote and the learn button. Inside the box, we got these accessories. An OBD power supply cable, a radio frequency antenna, two low frequency antennas, a long one and a short one, and a connector for soldering the remote. Step 1. Soldering the PCB board. Firstly, we need to take out the PCB board and the connector. The right and black wire connects to the battery connector on the board, and the right wire connects to the positive side and the black to the negative side. The orange connects to the lock button, the yellow connects to the unlock button, the green to the trunk and the blue to the panic button. After soldering, we need to install it into the box. Step 2. Key learning. Key learning can be completed with or without the PCB boarding. So here we remove the PCB board for clear illustration. This is the learn button and this is the dip switch. Just keep the dip switch in the default mode. Power the box with a 12 volts power supply. Before key learning, you need to download this Smart Key Box app. You can see the QR code on the packing box. And find the VVDIP key box 445 option and generate the remote. Long price the learn button. You'll hear a beep. Press connect car on the app and press the serial number of the box to enter learning mode. If you need to learn smartphone, hit learn current mobile phone. Learning completed and you can learn the next smartphone. It can connect six smartphones at most. If you don't need to learn smartphones, you can go straight to learn the remote. Press any button on the remote. You'll hear a beep, and the remote is learned successfully. Smart key box can connect six remotes at most. After learning, press exit learning mode. Okay, that's done. Let's install the PCB and check this flasher. When we press lock on the app, the flasher will flash once and that means the remote works great. We can install the box into the car and see how it works with the car. Step 3. Installing the smart key box into the car. Let's see how these cables connect to the car. The port connects to the OBD 12V power cable. The middle port connects to the radio frequency antenna. The right three ports connect to the low frequency antennas. The OBD power cable has three wires. The right wire connects to the 12 volts. The black wire connects to the earth wire. The yellow wire connects to the ACC key power. The VBAT and earth wire gets power from OBD or the fuse box. The location of ACC differs in different vehicles. For example, OBD pin 1 usually is the key power in Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz, and BMW cars. We'll take Volkswagen as an example in this video. You 
can see we drilled a hole and have connected the AC wire to the OBD pin 1. Plug the cable into the OBD port. When the engine is off, we can see there is no voltage between OBD pin 1 and the earth pin. And there is a 12 volts reading between OBD pin 16 and Earth pin. Start the engine. And we are reading 12 volts between the OBD pin 1 and Earth pin. That is the key power. Generally speaking, for Volkswagen, Mercedes Benz, and BMW cars, OBD pin 1 is the key power. For other vehicles, you may find the key power in three locations. OBD pin 1, OBD pin 8. And if you can't find the key power in the OBD pins, you need to check out the fuse box. If you only program smartphones without using remotes, you don't need to install the RF and LF antennas. If you want to program remotes, screw the RF antenna into the smart key box and place it on the driver's side. For the LF antennas, the short one is recommended to be installed in the front of the vehicle and the long one installed at the rear of the vehicle. This could help the smart key box receive wider remote signal. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and we're going to make another video introducing the settings on the app soon. Stay tuned, bye!